Hi, my name is Pavel Spechalski and no matter if you like it or not, the changes to the drone industry and RC hobby are coming. The best example of that are the new unified European Union drone regulation that are supposed to start being the official rule from the June 2020. So we more or less uh, still have one year until they will go and start start being the official policy toward drones and RC things in the sky in the European Union. Two or three weeks ago, closer to three probably, I did a really a very long video describing what those unified European Union regulations are about and how all, everything is divided into classes and operation types and stuff like that. This is really a very long video, 20 minutes long, the link should be somewhere over there. So if you really want to have a deep down knowledge of what's hap what will be happening in European Union, starting from 2020. This is the video for you. For today though, um, there were a lot of questions in the comments on the YouTubes uh, asking what will happen according to those regulations in this specific uh, case. I've noted the most interesting questions uh, over here and in the course of the next few minutes I will just try to answer the most important, the, the, the the most important, the most tricky ones, as much as I can. Probably the most important question is what will happen if I will get caught when I'm flying, when I'm supposed to be flying? Good question. Those European Union regulations are not saying what will happen to you if you will break those regulations. It's up to the country national regulation to really specific what might happen when you will be caught because happens only when you are caught and uh, flying somewhere where you should not be flying if this will be a fine a jail or whatever this is 100 percent up to the national regulations you might not know it but even now if you will do something very stupid in the air with your model a drone and uh, cause some trouble like for example disturbing an airfield or breaking someone's property you can be prosecuted even now so those new regulations are not really about how what will happen to you only this is a guideline for the countries how they should adjust their laws so that the laws are more or less uniform uh, in the whole European Union. But the penalties and stuff like that, this is only up to your government, up to your country. If your country will say that you will go for jail for 25 years for flying over an iron field, European Union has nothing to do with that. Next question is what will happen with FPV? Yes, let's be honest. The, the official form of those regulations is not very FPV friendly. You cannot really do FPV in the open category, the most open category there is. There is possibility to do the FPV, which is called behind visual line of sight in the specific category, but then you need the permission and additional stuff like that. So it's not looking very, very, very good for us. But um, later this year, uh, there will be a discussion about having the, how it was called, uh, the, not urban, but let me check because I don't want to lie. Oh, rural behind uh, visual line of sight. So maybe later this year, there will be some exception that when you are really far from anyone in the middle of uh, nowhere, you will be able, at least, fully officially and legally fly FPV. So we still have to wait how this will be looking uh, somewhere near the end of uh, 2019. Let's keep our fingers crossed. But, but to be honest, if you are flying somewhere where nobody really goes and uh, you are not making any danger to anything, the chances that you will be like, no, I'll, let's say, um, non-existent. Okay, let's call it like that. The qu next question was, and what about park in the middle of a city? If this is the rural or this is the urban area and can I fly uh, over there? I can open A3 or not? This is actually a good question. And um, to be honest, I cannot give an answer if the park in the city is uh, a place where you can conduct open A3 because there is a rule that you 
let's say the pilot pilot uh, uh, have to expect that no one will enter the area of the operation and uh, honestly in the park in the city i would probably do not expect that to happen still there are still national regulations about how you can fly and when you can fly and to really know if flying in the park even if sub 250 will be fine we will have to wait until the national regulations are in place next questions uh, are rather a comment cops will not be able to figure out what what goes where yeah um, unfortunately i don't think that cops will be able to figure out what goes where so my uh, do not attract cops and you should be fine next question um, Oh yeah, uh, what about 25 milliwatts restrictions that is currently in some of the countries and what we can do to change the 25 milliwatts on the VTX uh, power limitations? This is not about those unified drone regulations. The drone regulations are absolutely saying nothing about the FPV, VTX, power emissions and stuff like that. There are both national and the common European Union rules that say says how much power you can put in the air but this is nowhere near even close to the aerospace or the drones or the RC there are really specific regulations about that about the radio transmissions and you have to dig inside of those I'm not an expert I'm sorry next question oh yeah there's a lot of uncertainty about the 19 meters per second limitations that is happening in the class C0 and C1 and uh, what if I build a drone that is able to fly faster than the 19 meters per second good questions very good questions uh, but the classes C0 to C4 are only about the drones and airplanes put into the market by the manufacturers and distributors if you've built your own model from the parts you bought anywhere this is not this is not going into this C0 to C4 classification. This is your own do-it-yourself build. And as such, you are limited only to the Open A3 category. And you do not have to have any C marking on your model. This is on yours. And uh, so that, that more or less means that the 19 meters per second limitations is not really uh, in place because this is not uh, any category from C0 to C4 and uh, c2 c3 and c4 does not limit you to 19 meters uh, per second so really the c0 and c1 are only for the small drones everything above like the mavic that can fly faster than um, let's say 19 meters per second probably will not be c1 but c2 or something like that oh good question what about 6s because in most of the classes the voltage is limited to 24 volts if you build it yourself, this is do-it-yourself model. This is not something you bought ready from the manufacturer of a drone. You've built it your own. This is why the class um, limitation does not really apply. This is nothing like C0, C4. The same situation like with the maximal speed. And you can do whatever you want as long as you fly with Open A3. That's all, that's all. So it's not really a problem to fly with 6S if you build it yourself. And if the, someone is selling you ready-made drone powered with something more than 24 volts, it probably will have to go as C4 because in the C4 there is no limitation on the voltage. What about gas models? If you build your gas model by your own, that does not apply because you've built it yourself and you are third time in a row limited to the open A3 or the specific categories if you got the model gas powered model from someone who's selling those models that means that they will be actually C4 and this is more or less the same as the do it yourself so what really the difference and uh, disco phantoms ones phantoms two current generations of mavics and stuff like that and stuff like that 
they are still able to fly like more or less like they are flying now if you got your drone before those regulations go into place like for example you got your mavic pro right now it stays as a mavic pro it's not getting any c category because this is only for something that will be sold after june 2020 so right now the models you got from somewhere right now, if this is below 250, you fly open A1. If this is above 250 grams, you fly as open A3. Nothing really changes. If this is heavy, then this is more or less like your C4. If this is light, then this is more or less like the C0. And there are no bigger differences. Okay, um, I think those are all of the questions the at least the most interesting questions i got in the comments of the youtube video so uh, this is uh, all for today thank you for watching and until next one bye bye